That feels like a fitting sunset. Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Tessa Spade today. Welcome to Two Woos Day. It's Two Woos Day, August 13th, 2024. Day 226. Ah. Which means this is officially the very last night of Buttercup Snake Ethan. And I am absolutely positive he's excited to be starting school tomorrow. Though the concern, of course, is making sure that we've got our sleep schedules back on track because my goodness, she stayed up so late throughout this summer. But it's also understandable knowing just how incredibly hot it has been this year. This summer has been so hot that the only time you get any respite from the heat is super, super late at night. So this has been the only time she can really get away from the heat is late at night. I wish I could have taken her somewhere to cool down, but this summer's been a difficult one for everyone. Oh, beyond just ourselves, really. Oh, all extended family. My, uh, he, he, even Tara's brother in Hawaii has been having his struggles as well. His father's been having some struggles. His sister's been struggling. And really, it's just been, well, it's been a bit of a difficult year. But what, what can you expect? To the family where we even see this, I hope after these months are done, or this month or anything really, I just hope things start getting better. I'd like them to start getting better too. Because frankly, I'm, I'm just tired of everything being overwhelmingly stressful. They don't need to be stressful. I owl. But <sighs> that's just just... I'm sorry, Lilia, but that's part of life. Life isn't always going to be like funky, dory, and easy. Sometimes you're going to have some hard days. And some people get more harder days than, like, a higher number of harder days than other people. And believe me, I know many people who have it worse than we do. But... <sighs> I'm, ex I'm excited for Buttercup. She did essentially make it to the fourth grade, so... Like, meeting her fourth grade teacher, she's gonna be nice, she'll be checker, we'll see how it lasts throughout the rest of the year, you know how that goes, right? But... For us, it's going to be trying to get Sweetie to adjust to the whole different schedule, too, because she's been incredibly active. She's still incredibly active, but what can you expect with a two-year-old who's gonna be three next month? Let's see, no, I just, oh my goodness, Buttercup's birthday is in one month. And Sweetie's birthday is in one month and one day. So we have that to look forward to as well. But... Yeah, we... Uh -oh. Lily, Lily admitted, though, that this year feels like it's gone by much faster than previous years. And she's learned the trick that Tara and I learned quite a long, quite a long time ago. Is never ever look at it like as a whole you know i can't wait for this year to be over never look at the year in its entire life because then everything's gonna drag on wait to tear it it doesn't feel like it's been a very long time since we've started this challenge this whole no drinking i mean if you for those who are tuning in right now who have never seen this before, that, num that number you see the 226 down there, that is our power for how long we've gone without drinking, because we're still trying to go the entire year. And we're positive we'll make it this time, not that we haven't had a drop of alcohol. And looking at it as day to day, rather than saying, I can't, I have to make it to the end of the year, and only thinking of it that way. Having something to look forward to and know that you need to do every single day. In all honesty, we can barely keep up. By that we mean we can barely keep up with the days because we look at each day rather than, you know, the end of the week or the end of the month or the end of the year, like a lot of people do. We're like, you know, how long is this summer going to last? Believe me. If I'm, I know some people like Lilia and Almost myself. If we had full ability to just sleep through the entire summer until it's finally, you know, mid-autumn when it, you know, cools down. We, I know for sure Lily it would, but I don't like sleeping. I hate sleeping. In fact, it was... I want to say... No, it wasn't the last night. It was the night before. We had a terrible, terrible dream. So, 
that's that's the norm for us is we don't get good dreams her and i we don't get good dreams at all in fact it was a really really bad dream wait the kind where you were just so so glad something woke you up was like that the worst kind of nightmare scenario to play out in your head of something you're absolutely powerless to deal with when it comes up so we're glad it was just a dream kind of thing that was it was terrible we don't have good dreams so we don't like sleeping that much we like being awake also there's, you can do a lot more when you're awake I mean, I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, I have a really great life. We, we have a life. It's not great. It's not great. Or, you know, it's not perfect. It's not, you know, over the rainbow kind of thing. But it's not bad life either. It could, it could be a lot worse. It could be like that horrible dream we had. We like being in control of our lives. You know, as, as in control as you can be in a, in a world like we live in today, where everything is interconnected, you know? But... Uh, I... I'm just... Spending my time being excited for Buttercup right now. We're, I'm going to be uh, getting off of here in just a short bit, because I did... I was a little bit late. What are you from all this blasted heat? But we're going to be making fish tacos tonight. We had the crunchy Tex-Mex tacos last night. And tonight they get the fish tacos because they, they had a long tail was a little more than I do. I, but that does mean we failed. We did already fail in the idea of trying to go the month without having red meat. But then already failed when we had the sauce juice. Um, oh, was that over the weekend? Yeah, like Friday. It was on Friday. Uh, outside of that, I can't really complain about anything else. Sweet Pea is still being Sweet Pea, but she's having so much more fun because she has access to her room. It's not a blooming mess in there, although they're making it a mess right now, but luckily it is a maintainable mess. Being toys that Sweet Pea can play with without, you know, hoping on. So, they're doing, they're having a lot of fun right now. Absolutely. So she goes in there, although we're trying to convince her to not just close the door. She sees the door is open, she's inclined to close it. Unless she wants in there, then she wants it open. But once she's in there, she wants to close the door. But that's why our bedroom door must stay closed at all times, because, you know, the door is broken. Yeah, we're on two loose day right now, and the, and the repair guy hasn't come in to fix our door. Go figure. So I'm gonna have to call and be like, hey, hello, um, are you gonna fix our door yet? Thank you very much. I want to close this door without feeling like I'm gonna break the house. Because I really have to fight with that door to close it. The screw holes for the door are still stripped out in the door frame itself, so we're just waiting. If I had the power to do anything about it, I'd, I'd have already done it, and I really wish I could. Oh boy, I, boy, how do you, we, like Tara and I, we wish we could do something about it. I, more than anything right now, my mouth is really dry. I haven't had enough water today, although I do feel like, like, my body mostly feels like it has, it's just my head, mostly my mouth does not feel like it's had enough water. Probably haven't. So... When I'm done here, I'm going to go get myself some delicious, delicious cold water. It's, it's, it's a scorcher. It's like 107 Fahrenheit, and it, the index is a little bit higher than that. And the AC cannot keep up. I tried to crank it down even lower, but this is the best we're gonna get. That's the brakes, right? But I, I really do hope everyone here has been enjoying their two woos day. It's been been all right i can't none of us can really complain right but i hope that all of you enjoyed your two woo stay but in the meantime i do need to get going everyone so it's it's that time i hope everyone enjoys the rest of their evening <sighs> sometimes i feel like i get a little tongue-tied it happens right but this is kids that's made on your august 
13. Yeah, I have to keep checking to make sure I don't say the wrong number, because uh, we already know I've done that more than enough times. But it's August 13th, 2024, day 226. This is Tessa Spade on your two woos day. I'll see you all tomorrow on hump day. See you around, everyone. Bye.